Hello to you all. Welcome to this new series. I'm going to explain you how to create a Fetu map with my techniques and tips. I hope you will enjoy this video series. Today I'll show you the basics. This first video is important if you are a beginner. So let's get started. The first step, get the map kit. You can get it in the lobby on Flood Escape 2. Well, we'll have to wait. Finally. I already have it in my inventory. Now you are ready to open Roblox Studio. I opened the toolbox. You'll have to search in your models. Searching Flood Escape 2 in search bar will save you time. Insert it in your workspace. This is not very important. Click on OK. You can walk around inside. It's pretty interesting. Oh, uh, ah. Oh, oh no. Anyway, back to our map kit. You should create your maps in one place. You'll see, this is much more practical. Also, I will show you how to organize your workspace. To do this, you need to create folders. Add a folder in the workspace. Now rename it to work folder. So now, add 3 more folders in the one you just created. Rename them to slot 1, 2 and 3. Feel free to add more slots if you want. They are used to put the content of your maps in these slots. So now you can put the map kits in one of the three slots or now. Add a folder called my maps in the replicated first or storage section. You can now put your map kit in the folder you just created. In properties, by clicking on parent, you can move the selected item where you want it. Now select all the content of your map, then move the elements to one of the three slots. Add three folders to the geometry folder. Barriers, Terrain, and Details. Add a part in the Barriers folder. Of course do not forget to enable Anchor. Anchor is right here in Properties. So as you can see, the part is locked. Don't forget, a barrier is invisible. But you can put the transparency to zero if you need to edit them. The next folder is named Terrain. So, add a new part into. Let's build a small platform. If you want to change material, in properties, you have material box. Now, let's change the colors. Still in the properties, click on brick color or color. Okay, is there still a little problem? How to get the old texture? It's extremely simple. So, search for material service. Just go at the bottom of the list. Disable use 2022 material. Now you have old texture. Okay, back to the folders. The last one is the details folder. Yes, we will add every detail in this folder. To be honest, I couldn't work without organization. If you rename something by detail, the object will disappear if you disable high details in game. And what is cool, this is working also with models. You should disable can collide for this type of detail. Okay, now I group this and rename the model to detail. I don't really want to rename all the parts to detail. I prefer so much using models for this. Anyway I'll probably make an episode about that. I have many tips to give. Okay we have to remove useless parts in the map kit. Alright, let's continue. Okay. The first object is the air tank. I need builder extension to place it. You should use wedges parts. This is a big bro and it's very easy to use for beginners. This is beautiful. For terrain, you can also use plugin. Don't worry, I'll make a video about that. You need to know that you can delete the air tank, so if you doesn't want it in your map you can delete it and that won't break your map. You will see, it's very easy to use in reality. So take first the green pole, it's the start of your zipline, the red one is of course the end. Now a rope is needed. Take the one from the map kit, then ungroup it. Delete all points except the first one, take the point and place it on the green pole. Also I don't know what I'm doing with the camera. Like that. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the point, and place the new point a little further from the green pole. Anyways repeat this until you reached the red pole with the last point. 
Place the last point exactly as we did with the green pole. Last thing to do. Rename the first point as point 1. The second one point 2. Same thing with third and the rest. Select your points and press on Ctrl plus G to group it. It's important to name the model as row. The next object is the slide beams. Is there a thing that you need to know before using it? When I started to create Fetu maps, there was one question I had. How many studs should I raise my slide beam from the ground for it to work properly? Okay. The thing is if you raise it too high, you might be able to get past it without having to slide. I raise slide beam to 2 stud every time. Okay next one is rescue. I need to add a platform to place the rescue before. Alright, now let's place the rescue here and place the next object. To place the wall jump we need to make a cliff. I will resize this wall jump right now. As you can see, we will have to correct this texture problem. So the width of the wall jump before was 12. Now we have reduced it to 10. In properties, find size box. Properties transform size. X, Y, Z. Then write the new width in the first beam object inside the wall jump. And let's do a test and see if we can use CC's wall jumps correctly. I will test the wall jumps. Bubble your mine. Okay let's bruh. Okay test number 2. It's working perfectly. This is buttons and interactives. We will talk about this in the next episode. Exit region and exit block are mandatory in a map. If you delete them, this will broke the map. Anyways I will place them just after the wall jump section. Resize exit region to fit the terrain. Do the same thing with exit block, but you need to add 3 others exit block and place them around the exit region. If your end zone is surrounded by walls, one exit block in front is enough. I recommend to set exit blocks transparency to 1. In some of my maps, I make the exit region a bit visible. Yes, if you add a point light plus particles inside, it can be cool. The last object of the video is the water. I decided to delete the intro model because I will show in the next episode how use it. Anyways you will resize the water to fit the whole map only a specific area. If you have duplicated water 1 to add another water part. Rename the new one as water 2. Make sure your water is high enough to cover all areas the players can be. After that adjusts the height of the water. This is now perfect. It's time to test the whole map. Oh h god that jump is really long. Thank you to the one that create the Fetu map testing model. I pass the slide beam without collision issue. Height is perfect. Model of map testing system is available in the description of this video. <laughs>